So, I got a really cool gift today. I was actually taking a nap. I totally forgot about this. A person that is a member of the Peel Region Aquarium Club, who's also a friend of mine now, has decided he decided to donate these fish to me. So he packed them up and came and dropped them off in front of my door. And he waited till I went and picked them up. So I did not pay for these. We're gonna open this box just now and we're gonna see what's inside. So you don't wanna miss out what's going on. There's a lot of cool updates in this video and a lot of cool updates coming up. So stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't because you don't wanna miss out what all the cool stuff that are coming out in the new year. A lot of Playcos actually. This is actually Playcos and all these tanks that I'm getting right now are gonna be new species of Playcos. So you will get a lot of cool new Playcos in 2021. So let's open this box and see what we have. Produced by Malik. What is going on fish people? Welcome back to Aqua Malik. Today is a really exciting day. I actually have two really cool announcements to make. First announcement I'm just gonna tell you guys off the top. This tank is brand new. I just bought it. It's a Sephora 30 gallon. It's the same as this one here. I want to have a few of these on this side of the fish room, like on the top, because these, this essentially is one of my most favorite tanks to keep angelfish and uh, discus. So I'm also, I also have a breeding group of L201s in this tank. So I'm going to actually keep smaller species of play because all these smaller tanks I'm getting are going to be for smaller species like the L280s. I might just get some L136 at some point in the new year. I might also get some other cool play codes, hint, hint some super whites so stay tuned for that and subscribe if you haven't because you don't want to miss out on all the cool things that are coming up on 2021 also two really cool zebra playco videos are coming soon one of them featuring dr thomas and other one he specifically wanted me to make so i'm making for him so you do not want to miss those two videos they are coming up before the new year hopefully I already have the material and I have it recorded, I just have to edit it and put it out. I also have a lot of cool stuff planned with Playcos, so don't be worried. I know yesterday's video was about angelfish and that the last few videos have not been more specifically about Playcos, but I was just letting the Playcos do their thing. I still have fry, I have 46 trappings, I have eggs, all cool stuff. So we'll be looking at all of those in the coming video, so stay tuned for that. So in today's video, we're going to be doing an unboxing of some epic cool fish that was donated to the fish room. These fish are actually some of my favorite fish and they are a type of Plecos. And they're not really easy to find, although they're not the most expensive fish. So it's quite difficult to acquire large adults of this particular types of fish. And I was really grateful when Michael offered to give me his two breeding females to breed with my males here I have so that we can increase the genetic diversity of my gene pool and also to return him some fry. So I did not pay any money for these fish. They were delivered to my house free of charge by a member of the Peel Region Aquarium Club. I am not an official member of the Peel Region Aquarium Club, but I do actually get links to some of their online meetings and stuff like that. I mean, online I am a member on their website or, or like their Facebook group, but I'm officially not a club member paying dues. So I am planning to become a member in the new year, so you guys will get some footage of me at the Peel Regional Aquarium Club in the future once the pandemic is over. Michael also has a website, a YouTube channel, so I'll put a link to it down below in the description so you guys can go to his YouTube channel and subscribe because he is a master breeder himself and he has a lot of experience, a lot more experience than even I have in some of the fish that we like to keep. So you really want to check out his channel also and give him a subscription and help him out that way and get some cool information. Now without further ado, let's open this box. I'm really pleased. I'm actually feeling like it's Christmas right now. Uh, these fish have been in quarantine at his house already. Um, and I'm not going to worry about quarantining them. I'm actually out of tanks right now to quarantine fish because I have so many fish in the tanks. And I don't want to put these guys in a tank that they cannot thrive in. So I'm going to put them in a tank that's already established, that's already doing well and that already have a group of breeding Playcos in. Now this is my L201 tank, you guys don't see this tank that often. So in this box, we have two bags, we packed them really nice, I'm just gonna pull them out without talking too much. Wow, look at that, that's a gorgeous fish. 
And yeah, it's, it's a Rhino Ricaria. Definitely the right species. So we're going to put them in this tank. They are young. I believe he has two females. And uh, yep, there they are. Gorgeous fish. Wow, wow. Wow, guys. Wow, wow. 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 I'm really happy right now. Thank you so much, Michael. I am really happy right now. You made my day. And uh, so these guys are going to stay in this tank for about two weeks just so I can monitor them. They are in perfect health. I mean, once a fish is in, a, in the care of an advanced aquarist, I'm not too concerned about pathogens and stuff. And uh, I don't know him that well personally. We just became friends a few months ago, but we've had like a lot of good conversations. He has a lot of playfuls breeding in his facility and uh, the fish look extremely healthy. So. I'm not worried at all about these guys and I'm expecting them to spawn in the new years because Ryan Lori Carrier in my experience usually starts spawning right away in the new year for me. So January, February I should be getting fry from these guys. I am going to give a lot of the fry back that I'm getting from the first these two guys back to Michael so he has a bag of fry to raise and uh, have a colony at his house. Our, our whole goal with these types of rare fish is to keep the species alive within ourselves and then also make some available eventually but the real goal as, as far as I know for myself and I'm pretty sure that Michael would agree with me on this is to keep the species alive so the video I'm going to be making next is going to be quite important in that regard as well we're going to be looking at what to look for when you're buying a zebra playboy I believe that's quite important so stay tuned for that you don't want to miss out that video but as far as these particular types of fish go you have to really keep in mind that they might be the only ones of that type alive in your entire area or your country for that matter for some of these guys you know and then in the world there might only be so many of them left in nature too so you have to really keep that in mind and be mindful that these animals could be endangered or could be going extinct without us even knowing it in their natural habitats because this guys for example you don't know where they come from like all the fish that you're seeing for red lizard catfish, Ryan Lori Carrier L0108 are all captive born from a group of fish that was imported probably 20 years ago at some point and we don't know where it was imported from and we don't know what part of the Amazon they live in, we don't know any information about them so they could already be extinct in the wild so you just have to really pay, keep that in mind when you are responsible for these type of animals and make sure that they live a nice long and healthy life and they reproduce for you guys and that you distribute the fry to people that are going to keep them alive long term and that are going to continue to breed them and expand the captive population that we have so that we have a healthy and diverse captive population. So that's what I'm going to say for about that part and let's open the bags and let the fish out. So it's about 10-15 minutes later now and uh, they're actually in the same temperature. I did a temperature check of the bags. They were 79.5 and I got them. So I could have literally just directly put them in the tank, but I still wanted to let them float for about 20 minutes or so. And uh, so now we are at that point where we can actually release these guys into the tanks. So I will do another check, check real quickly with the temperature gauge, just to make sure that they are the same temperature as my tank. My tank is at 80 degrees Fahrenheit, which is, well, I can't tell you what that is in Celsius because I don't have my chart in front of me. I have a chart stuck, stuck to another tank uh, in, on, the, on the thing here so that I can always easily tell you guys what each temperature is in Celsius and Fahrenheit. But right now this is 80 degrees Fahrenheit, which I believe is about 27 degrees Celsius if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm not worried about quarantining these guys. They came from a reputable person and uh, oh yeah, the temperature is the same. Yeah, it's about 0.4 degrees off, so I'm not too worried about that. Let's go, buddy. Time to come out. So I'm putting all the water and everything into the tank without a worry because of who the fish came from. I'm not too concerned about any of those things because they did not come from a pet store or a pet smart. Um, chain pet stores are the worst if you are buying fish, actually. We should make a separate video about that. I know friends that own chain pet stores that are going to be upset. <laughs> when they hear that, but it's the truth, a lot of times at least. Um, all right, so let's look at the fish. I apologize for the dirty glass, but this is a tank that you guys never get to see, and 
the reason for that is I just literally water change once a month in this tank and keep the nitrates low and uh, there's breeding plecos in here so there's some really nice plecos in here so comment below and let me know if you guys want me to clean the glass and show you guys what's in this tank because you don't want to miss out on those fish out there there's some really cool fish in here and now there's two more cool fish in here I'm really excited they are looking normal they're showing a lot of healthy normal behavior they look like they're already looking for food um, that's one of my deformed angels that I'm letting him out live in the tank so that's another L201 in the back, smaller guy, that's the nice nice one behind the filter you kind of saw. Let's try to get him out. Let's try to get them out. There's a lot of cool fish in here. There they are. There they are. There's my cool fish. Where's my cool fish? Come out, dudes. Yeah, there's a lot of cool fish in here. Anyways, I'm really excited. I, I, I mean, I can't say thank you in, in words right now the way I feel about this. It's just amazing. I'm really happy and... I'm really grateful to Michael for doing this and uh, for trusting me to get these guys to breed. As a breeder, I know how hard it is to give your fish to somebody else. Uh, even selling is difficult for me. So for him to actually donate these fish to me to, to add to my group was amazing. And the agreement is to give him fry as soon as they breed. So I will do my best, Michael, to get these guys spawning for you. And uh, if you guys have not subscribed, subscribe right now and hit that notification because there will be a lot of cool videos coming out about these particular fish, how to breed them, how to take care of them. I do have some care and maintenance videos. I'll put links to it up here at some point at the end of the video as well so you guys can see. Also check out the Playco playlist and uh, stay tuned for tomorrow's video because you don't want to miss out all the cool stuff. See there's a breeding Playco underneath that. That's why all the gunk keeps coming out and uh, he's just not showing his face. Anyways, thank you so much for watching the video till the end. I love you all. I'll see you on the next video. God bless you all.